rapper. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Cowboys Corner. So, there's a lot to talk about here. I hope you're ready for it. Off-season videos in full effect. So, everybody knows the news. Leighton Vanderesh, he, he isn't getting his fifth-year option. And when Leighton was drafted, there was a lot of concerns about health and injury um, you know, trying to stay consistent, and uh, we had our reactions. You know, we had our initial reactions like, this guy's going to stay hurt. He's not going to be good for us. Leighton Vanderesh had one good year, and then we kind of just seen him, seen him kind of fall off the map due to health issues. He had uh, surgery on the neck that's been fully repaired. He broke his collarbone week one. <sighs> and then, you know, the bill of health issues been going on since. Fast forward, that was 2018. Fast forward four years, Cowboys drafted Micah Parsons, 12th overall. They got a steal in Jabril Cox from LSU in the, what was it, the fourth round? Um, and, uh, and, Jay, and, and, and we all know about Jalen Smith. Now, a lot of people are saying Jalen Smith is a post- June 1 cut, and I don't think that's the case, guys. He's counting, I think, what is it, $9.8 million against the cap if you cut him uh, post-June 1. Next year is when you cut him. Not this year. Next year is uh, when you – so we could potentially have uh, Jalen and Leighton Van Der Esch gone by next year. You you take care of it next year, you'll save $6.8 million on the cap with $3 million uh, in dead money. So there's that aspect of it. So I, I next year is the last year for Leighton Van Der Esch, for Jalen Smith, in my opinion, guys. But it's no shocker. It's no shocker to me that they're not going to pick up the fifth, the fifth year option. It really isn't, and it shouldn't be to you guys. Uh, poor play. I mean, yes, we can blame a lot of it on Mike Nolan, absolutely. But that run when Lamar Jackson ran up the middle all the way for a touchdown. And Van Der Esch bit the eye candy. You can't have a pro football player do that. And uh, can Michael Parsons, can Jabril Cox turn it around? They're two different linebackers, right? Michael Parsons more of a blitzer. Uh, Jabril Cox is more of the cover guy. Um, Jalen Smith, maybe you can salvage Jalen Smith. Maybe you can salvage Leighton Van Der Esch somewhere along the line and have three the three studs like that. It would be great. Trust me, I want a Super Bowl. And, it, and if one of these guys, Jalen or uh, Van Der or Van Der Esch, can they can turn it around? I'm all for it. But at the end of the day, I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, let me know, guys, if, if Jalen or Van Der Esch can turn this around and we can have Micah Parsons and Jabril Cox going going crazy for us. Um, I, I would love to know in the comment section below. Uh, Cowboys got some big some big corners. They got Kelvin Joseph. Y'all seen my reaction to the Kelvin Joseph pick? Um, it's crazy because uh, they got these two corners. I think the well the fifth or sixth round corner, Mukuamu. I think he might be moving to safety, and then Deshaun Wright. Uh, the third round pick when everyone scratched her head and wondered what the heck they're doing. Um, when uh, I, I think he'll be, you know, a traditional corner. Um, but I, I don't know. You don't you, – Trayvon Diggs and, and Kelvin Joseph, you keep on the outside. So I don't know where Nashawn Wright would go. Um, I, it's almost like, you know, they if they went BPA on their board, it kind of screws some things up on that corner position, but you can never have enough corners. But I don't see where these six, four guys can start at, especially you got fat man, boss man, fat man, or whatever his name is. And you got Trayvon Diggs there, Anthony Brown, Cheeto Bay competing for that slot. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting on how they, how, how they fill that out. But God, I've been rambling for so long. Uh, if you stayed here for the whole video comment, down below, Cowboy Nation number one. If you've been here this whole time, Cowboy Nation number one in the comment section. But that's my thoughts on Leighton Van Der Esch. Um, you know, when he got picked, that this was the concern. And, you know, not saying Cowboy fans are right or wrong, but that was a main concern when Cowboys drafted him. 
Um, but Cowboy Nation number one in the comment section below if you made it this far. Guys, if you're new here, this is what you'll be getting from consistently now. I'm back consistently. I take a long off season out, but I'll be talking about scenarios and, and uh, position players and things of that sort as we go on. But it's been your Cowboy Nation. It's been your it's been your Cowboys corner, baby. But uh, are you in the Cowboys corner? Cowboy Nation.